Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something really awesome to show you. This is the Mayo Gang MGC4 Mark II from Airsoft GI, the one that has been custom built by Cisco. I was very fortunate to be reached out by Airsoft GI. They sent me a press model here to review. I'm not getting to keep this gun and I'm not getting paid for this video. They wanted my honest impressions on it and my honest review. So I'm gonna unbox this gun and then I'm gonna cut to some gameplay. And I'm gonna put this gun to the test and see how well it performs. Woo! This gun's a laser. Let's get to unboxing this thing. I am very curious and excited to test this out. So let's see. It's so the return label, because like I said, I don't get to keep this, sadly, but uh, I am so excited to give it a shot. Now I believe the body is um, put together by Lancer Tactical, and then all the internals are custom and done up really nice. So this is what the outside of the box looks like, but the gun is pretty different on the inside. They really got this into an affordable price for people to get a high-end gun, which is really awesome because it does seem like such a cool upgraded airsoft gun. Oh man, ooh, this looks good. So this is the Mayo Gang MG C4 Mark II. It's got the awesome Mayo trademark on it here and on the rail. All right, so that is the gun just quickly unboxed. Just wanted to get you guys' initial reaction to it when I pulled it out. But I'm going to cut now to gameplay where I'm going to be actually testing this out at Go Airheads and seeing how well this performs on the field. So let's get to that. All right, guys, well, I came out here to Go Airheads to test out the MGC4 Mark II. And I got it chronoed, and then I went to go test the hop up, and it kind of blew up on me or something like that. The motor just started screeching, and then I was getting error codes from the MOSFETs. When I pulled the trigger, it makes a horrible sound. And now I've tried adjusting the motor height up and down slightly. It still makes the same sound. If I try again, I get the MOSFET error code, and then it stops me from shooting. Well guys, as you can see, that really didn't go to plan. So I reached out to Airsoft GI as soon as I got back and I let them know what was happening. I sent them the clips of what was going on and they said, hey, just send it back and we'll have our techs take a look at it. They were very apologetic. And so they sent me out this replacement one so that way I could actually get a video made for you guys using the gun and actually get a proper opinion on it. So uh, they did receive the old one that was broken and they took a look at it and they found that one of the uh, bearings on the bevel gear kind of got a little out of line and that caused the whole gears to be kind of messed up and they were they said they'd never seen anything like that especially on one of their custom guns so what's really nice about airsoft gi is they do have a 45 day like warranty return and replacement service so if you guys do have an issue with yours or anything you buy from the website you can just always send them an email and they'll try and figure it out with you guys so do keep that in mind but they did send me out this replacement one and so i was able to go out and actually use it so we decided to go to fox airsoft here in colorado at this time we wanted to go try out their new prison airsoft field out there so we we're pretty excited to do that and uh yeah it actually worked this time and it worked really well i'm gonna have some gameplay here and then at the end i'm gonna let you guys know my honest opinions on the gun and whether this is worth the price tag of 315 dollars and all the hype that it's been getting so I would make sure you stick around to that because I've got some interesting takes on it and I think you guys will want to see that. But uh, let's go into the gameplay of Fox Airsoft. Now, if you've not been there, it is a super awesome field with tons of different variety and games that you can play out there and different field styles. So uh, we're gonna jump into that. I'm gonna show you some of the best moments with the gun. And then, like I said, I'll give you my takes here at the end. Are you going garage? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get there. We're gonna go far right and try to keep it from getting close to the table. Hey, good job. You do that. Okay. Whoa, swing it in, swing it in. There's so many people here. Yeah. I'm gonna push along here. 
Alright, I'll go with you. I'm gonna try and take this building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Guns a laser. Hey Scott, we got one through here somewhere. Okay. I don't know where. I'm gonna go in. footage is pretty early on in the game I was still trying to figure out the right hop-up adjustment but once I got it it was dead on oh nice I nailed it nailed it Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of gameplay of the MGC4 Mark II. I'm going to go over all the details and the overall impressions I have of it now. But if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, make sure you are subscribed. I've got an awesome gameplay video coming where we are doing a hold off Somebody at the prison here boy. at Fox Airsoft. All right, so we're back with the MGC4 uh, Mark II. I ran it through its paces. Let me tell you that when I was out there at Fox running 11.1 LiPo and the way I like to play is pretty much strictly semi only which really puts a little bit more stress on the motor and the gearbox and that's pretty much what I did I was pushing this gun real hard and my takeaway notes from it is it's pretty it's pretty decent it's it's really 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 nice uh, the trigger response is super snappy as you probably heard in the gameplay there it is super responsive the gun makes a great sound and then it's uh, accuracy in the barrel and the hop up and everything was just dead on like it was nailing targets like just straight straight shots i was using 0.28s and it was it was such a laser like i was so impressed with the overall performance of the gun i was able to push it as hard as i needed to the mags all fed pretty good and yeah i just it's very it was very comfortable to use but there were a couple things that i did notice that uh, stood out to me and that you guys should keep in mind for one the stock here the there's just not a lot of battery space in here. So you can fit a normal stick type in here, but you're not gonna get something that's pretty beefy with a lot of MAH. Um, and then the butt pad, it fell off twice during the time I was out there playing. And thankfully some other guy found it when I was out there because otherwise I would have lost it. But yeah, I don't know why it just came loose. I guess just the rubbing up against my shoulder as I was shooting, it must've just popped off. Um, but yeah, if, if there was, a, I mean, you can always just replace it yourself. Just get something a little bit wider that can fit a little bit bigger batteries if that's, if that's an issue like it was for me a little bit because I did have to change my battery a couple times. Another thing I did notice as I was running the gun on semi quite hard, the motor and the pistol grip was starting to heat up pretty decently to where I could feel it through my gloves. Um, I was pushing it insanely hard. So, I mean, I'm sure that's a side effect of that. I mean, it does happen with all my other airsoft guns. So the original gun that I did have when uh, I had to before, before the motor started and the gears started messing up, when I was shooting that gun, the hop-up was a little off to where the BBs kept shooting 
far to the left, and that's just a little bit of barrel alignment that you can easily fix. Uh, but the second one that I came here was just dead on. It was so straight and so accurate, so. And then another thing that I did notice about the motor, I mean, it was only very, very slight, but as the day wore on, I didn't do any adjustments to the gun, but as the day wore on, I noticed the gun sounded a little different. Like, it was like the motor was like moving, it was sitting into place. So something is going on with the two guns and their motor, but as I was playing, I noticed, I'll, sh I'll show you here a little clip of what it sounded like at the very beginning when I started and at the very end, and you can tell that it's not sounding the same. So something with the motor alignment or seating did change over the course of the day. And so I'm not sure what is up with that. Those are just the couple little things that I did notice. I wanted to give you guys obviously a fair assessment of it. All right, the moment we've been waiting for is this worth the $315 price tag and all the hype that it's been getting. And in my honest opinion, yeah, I think it is. This is probably one of the best bang for your bucks that you're gonna get out there on the airsoft market. Like I really can't think of anything that is as good performing for as low price as it is. I honestly can't even believe it's only $315. Like the body is super nice, super solid, very ergonomic, very comfortable. Uh, the trigger response is super snappy and crisp. The accuracy of the gun is just pinpoint. This gun was a laser out there. I was hitting people from so far away. I was so impressed running it. And as you guys saw in the gameplay, I was shredding with this gun. Now, it has a whole bunch of upgrades in there, full metal tooth piston, upgraded gears, a awesome MOSFET in there. That's just really steps this gun up to the next level. Other than the couple things that I did address that were I had issues with, which were very minor, to be honest, and then obviously the first one that I got that didn't work, but that's a non-issue because with the warranty service, you can get that fixed and replaced. If you guys are interested in picking this up, I would head over to Airsoft GI's website. I'll leave a link in the description. And they have a Wombo Combo savings deal where you can get free shipping over $180, I believe, and also a credit applied to your account for rewards with the Airsoft GI website. So. Totally rec recommend checking it out. This gun is awesome. And if you know any friends that are trying to get into the sport, I would totally point them in this direction. This is a good gun. This is really, really nice. And it's a pity that it is gonna only be available in limited quantities. So not everybody's gonna be able to have a chance at picking one of these up, but you know, for the price, it's really, really good. So thanks to Airsoft GI for sending this to me to review. I appreciate working with you guys. Hopefully we can do more in the future. And I wish I could keep this gun, but I'll be sending it back. So just so you guys know, I don't really have a, a bias in this. I don't get paid for this. I don't get, I don't get to keep this, but they just wanted my opinion. And honestly, I think it's pretty great. So with that out of the way, I'll let you guys get to it and I'll see you guys in the next one.